best known as being the birthplace of Martin Luther, hence its official title of Wolf Luther Start Eisleben, the town is first mentioned in 997 as a market called Eislebia. Eisleben was a town by 1180 and was central to the mining industry. Copper mining and smelting saw the city prosper in the 15th and 16th centuries, leaving slag heaps and debris nearby to this day. On June 6, 1927, American aviator Clarence D. Chamberlain landed outside the town in a wheat field, completing the first transatlantic passenger flight. Charles Albert Levine was the passenger. They broke Charles Lindbergh's distance record that he had set only two weeks before when he landed in Paris, France. Born here on the 10th of November 1483 at 16 Langas, now Lutherstrasse, Martin Luther was baptised the next day at St Peter's and St Paul's Church. His father Hans Luther was a minor like many of Eisleben citizens. Luther's family moved to Mansfield when he was only a year old and he lived in Wittenberg most of his life. But by chance he was in Eisleben when he preached his last sermon and died in 1546. Luther visited in 1546, he was already ill. He had been asked to help resolve disputes among the Count's family over inheritance rights. Luther took lodgings in the house of his friend Dr. Drachstedt. He preached four times, but during his last sermon on February 14, he was not capable of completing it. He died peacefully in his sleep on February 18. Like every town where Luther lived, there is a monument to him. The one in Eisleben shows Luther holding a Bible to his heart, crushing the bell of excommunication with his right hand. Relief on the base showed the translating of scripture, his family circle, and Luther debating with Dr. Eck. Eisleben was a pioneer of heritage tourism. It took steps to preserve its Luther memorials as far back as 1689. Hence the day the church Luther was baptised in, the church he preached in, and the homes where he was born and died have been preserved. The unassuming townhouse where he was born, also from the 15th century, was largely destroyed when a fire swept through Eisleben in 1689. The council then acquired the land and had the property rebuilt.